everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and today I would like to show you some really cool techniques. Uh, we're talking about the law extension. And in order to show you the law extension, I'm going to start with a spiral. And this spiral has um, two turns and it has a, a diameter that starts at three inches and goes out to five inches. So it's really nice that you can make a spiral. You can have a pitch of zero. I think maybe I'll give it a pitch of uh, 0.5 so it slowly works its way up like that. So there you have that, okay? I'm gonna take that shape and I'm actually going to extrude it. I'm going to extrude it um, one inch uh, in the Z direction as you can see. So there you have it. I have this uh, coil, if you will. It's kind of like a spring. Next, I'm going to show you that you can do a uh, surface, if you will, called the law extension. And the law extension you'll find here in the under the surface uh, base surface tab, law extension. And with law extension, what you do is you select a curve that you're going to put this um, extra surface on. I'm going to select the edge of this um, this shape that I've done, and you select the face that it's going to be. Um, designed or it's going to be relative to. Then you can do a length law. In this case, I'm going to do a constant length law just to begin with. And I'm going to do a one sided law. And I'm going to make it stick out this way in a in a negative direction, negative way, if you will, or actually, let's do it positive this way. So it's a uh, shape that is now spiraling in. Uh, as you can see, I can vary the angle very nicely. And if I want to really be fancy, I can say that the uh, length is going to be a linear, that's going to follow a linear law that's going to start at 0.5 and then end at uh, 0.25. So it will taper, if you will. And there you have it. So I have that piece of geometry. Uh, that is now tapered. I think I'll taper it just a little bit more, 0.125, like that. And um, a little less here, 0.25, there we go. And say OK. Let's make the uh, angle 90 degrees. Good. Apply. And let's say I'll do another one on the bottom. So I'm going to select the curve, select the face. The uh, dimensions are, are the same. Say OK. There you have it. And so just imagine that this is a track like, um, I don't know if uh, you can relate, but in my youth, I had a thing called Hot Wheels. And the Hot Wheels track looked like this and it had actually a loop-de-loop. -loop. This would be a double spiral. And um, if this were a Hot Wheels track, I would want to uh, then add one more little piece of geometry that looks like this. There we go. So there would be the straight part of the track. And then the car would go up and around. It would come out here. Of course, the way I have it, it would hit the track. So I'm going to go to the helix and I'm going to give it a little bit more pitch. And there you have it. I have now made something that's like a Hot Wheels track where at the end it would come out the, come out the other side. So there, there's your Christmas gift for your <laughs> young person. A little Hot Wheels track that uh, goes in this uh, converging helix. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Uh, the law extension is something that is really, really good for uh, certain helical things that you might be doing or if you're adding a flange onto something that's not um, just a straight shot. Uh, the law extension is, is a very powerful technique. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this whole thing. Please help out by liking and subscribing. Our user base is growing and we are getting great questions and feedback. Um, and thank you very much.